everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another foundation review for you guys and I actually got this foundation at IMATS this year and it's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. I didn't get the liquid, I wanted to get the stick because I heard so many YouTubers rave about it including Desi Perkins, Lust Deluxe, Crispy, I don't know, are you even... I just, I've just heard so many people talk about it so I really wanted to try this one out and it was actually £16 at IMAX instead of like 30 so it was a really really good deal so I had to pick it up. I got the shade 173 which equals to Y445. The 173 shade is the shades of the older version so the normal HD foundation I believe. Um, and then the Y445 is the new shade, so it helps you, so if you had the older version, it helps you to kind of find out what shade you are, um, which I find kind of helpful. So on the packaging it says, the Ultra HD Stick Foundation feels like a second skin and still provides medium to full coverage while looking flawless and natural. Exclusive 4K complex guarantees invisible, natural and comfortable makeup. It has a creamy texture and blends seamlessly and conceals imperfections it's good for touch-ups the formula glides on and makeup skin looks even and moisturized with a soft satin finished and it's great for all skin types even for dry skin so this is not going to be like my usual foundation review video because it's not a first impression i've already tried it i've been wearing it every single day since friday and today's monday so i've worn it for three days and i've got it on now as well as you guys know i have dry skin and personally i really really like how it feels it literally glides on like it says on the packaging it's so easy to blend you would think a stick foundation is kind of like I don't know very full and cakey but it really isn't it's so creamy and easy to blend you can definitely control the coverage with it like it says it gives a medium to full coverage but it still looks like skin I will give you kind of like a close-up of what I how I put it on and how it actually blends so nicely so what I do with this foundation, I make sure that I'm my skin is really, really moisturised because as you guys know I have really dry skin. And then afterwards I just kind of straight from the stick do like stripes all over my face wherever I need to. And then I just take a brush to kind of blend it in. Lately I've been liking to use more brushes than my beauty blender, I don't know why, but I just feel like it really like pushes the product into my skin. It looks very natural and it literally makes your skin look like skin, which I've been obsessed with lately. But even if you like full coverage, you can definitely get a full coverage out of this and it still won't look cakey I did kind of show you what it looked like with one layer and then two layers um, but yeah it just makes your skin look really really nice it doesn't go grey around my mouth area and it also does not sink into my smile lines which is a huge plus for me uh, so I'm just trying to like kind of tick off what it says on the packaging it is definitely comfortable to wear I literally don't feel anything on my skin like I said, it blends seamlessly, it does conceal, like it covers everything and it just makes your skin look e really, really even. Um, and yeah, I absolutely agree with everything that it, says, that it says on the packaging. This is like a good foundation. I've been obsessed. Since I tried it Friday, I've been wearing it to work and I just keep using it. You guys know that I'm like obsessed with foundations, but this is another good one because I would give this one a 10 out of 10 because even the shade blends really nicely into my skin and it's got a good shade range the only downside I would say to it is the price of it but it's a high-end foundation and you get really good quality so if you want good quality then sometimes you have to pay a little bit more money um, but it's, it's a reasonable high-end price it's around £30 I'll leave a link to the product in the info box I don't know if I will try the liquid foundation but this one is definitely a good one and I know this will last me for ages because you don't need that much I feel like a lot, a little goes a really, really long way. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say about this. Um, with regards to longevity, I've worn it all day to work and it literally does not come off. Even though I don't set it with the powder, I set only my under eye and it's still like, it just looks so nice when you don't set it. And your, your skin looks really, really good with this foundation. That's why I really like to use a brush, like I said, it just blends everything nicely and there's no patchiness or anything so I would pay it for it again if I had to and I think doing a review this way is better because over time I can see if I actually like it I think using it on one day only is a bit too short let me know if you guys prefer it this way or if you still want me to do a first impression way where I keep it all day but 
um, I feel like I have more knowledge and I'm more sure about the product because I have tried um, products in the past where I did a re first impression on the day and then afterwards I started to like it but on that day I didn't really because I didn't use it enough like for example the Revlon foundation I thought there was glitter in it but there wasn't actually glitter in it um, it was just probably glitter on my brush but I still said it in the video um, so yeah, just let me let me know in the comments below if you do prefer it this way or if you want me to continue with the first impressions. I also did use the concealer, the Ultra HD concealer. Now I would actually compare this to a to the NYX full coverage concealer. I think that's what it's called. It's very dewy. I feel like this concealer is very dewy, and it does kind of crease on me sometimes. It's not like my Urban Decay where I know it won't crease when I set it with my Ben Nye Banana Powder. It's a good concealer. It doesn't necessarily brighten my under eye because of the shade it's quite it's very close to my skin tone but it does definitely conceal I feel like this would be good if you have a lot of acne scars on your cheeks I think this is a concealer that would be really really good for on the skin not under the eyes but I don't really like to use it under my eyes to be honest I have put it on today I feel like I would mostly use this if I just want foundation concealer and I want to go to school something and it's just very super super light um, I'd probably wear this but if you wanted more like a something that's sure and you know it's not going to crease um, I wouldn't go for this one I probably would use it on my skin if I did have blemishes but not under the eyes I'm not too fond of it I do have the shade Y41 and I've actually heard a lot of other youtubers say that they're not really too fond of this for under the eyes because it's very dewy and I don't know I feel like it's very similar to the NYX one the NYX full coverage I don't know what the name is but I'll write it in the info box um, the consistency of it is very liquidy but the NYX one is more thick. The applicator of this concealer is so incon unconvenient, inconvenient, I think that's the word. I always seem to get so much product out more than I need to so then it just wastes the product so I, act I have to be extra careful when I use this but it does blend in easily, there's a lot of shades and I think if you want something that's very light and it does have that full coverage effect but I feel like, I don't know, I'm not too fond of it, I don't know how to explain it. Like it's already starting to crease on me. Can you see how it's already starting to crease? That's why I don't like to wear it too much. Um, but for the face it will definitely look so nice and it feels very hydrating that's what I like about it but apart from that I think that's all I have to say 10 out of 10 for the foundation for the concealer I'll probably give it at a 6 out of 10 I'm not too fond of it to be honest I don't really even use it that much if I was doing freelance makeup uh, I would definitely have this in my kit if because if you have a client with a lot of acne scars on their cheeks this would be your concealer right here because it just blends into the skin really really nicely but it's not necessarily that great with an area where it's so thin and you have more lines because it will sink into the lines anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this quick review let me know what other foundations you would like me to try and review for you guys and let me know also if you prefer first impressions or videos in this type of way but yeah thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up subscribe for more videos and i will see you next time